Welcome to Worlds Collide, a wrestling card podcast for wrestling fans by wrestling fans, featuring Tony Bella from WrestlingTradingCards.com. This is like a, a stock market. Like- and Zan Morning from Wrestling With Cards on YouTube. And I'm not saying there's a right or wrong answer, I'm just posing the question. Join them as they navigate the world of wrestling cards, helping you build a bigger and better collection and making some money along the way. All right. Wow. We, we have officially made it. The buildup is here now. There we are. Yep. Already got two people in the chat. Nice. All right. So what's up, everybody? Welcome to Not Worlds Collide. It's the first ever wrestling cards virtual con night one. First ever wrestling card only wrestling memorabilia. We're going to th- you'll see why I'm saying that later. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is fun. I uh, can't believe we made it. You know, it's uh, it's just interesting to see how the brainstorming comes together. Who would have thought uh, this time last year that we would be in this position right now? Like, I think with your podcast kind of pre- uh, predating mine by months, I don't know how long it's like that. And then me and then joining together and all of a sudden here we are jointly put doing together. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be fun though. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will say this constantly. Please subscribe to the WTC YouTube channel that you are watching this on. If you miss any of this, we will have the replay available as soon as the show goes off the air. And uh, uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a couple days, you'll see it on my channel as well. And we may be able to cut some of it up and put it on some audio if we if you like to normally listen to us on the audio. Thanks to everybody in the chat. Uh, feel free to uh drop whatever you want in the chat let us know if we're having any issues if you guys want to buy something you can communicate with each other in the chat room um we'll have a guest in about 15 minutes for our first spot but me and tony are kind of taking over this just for an intro and showing what we got um got any don west deal of the days tony (laughs) i have all kinds of stuff um i I, forgot what should i do here are we getting some i have some cool undertaker promo cards from 2006 Insider, and P1? and and guys, we'll, we're putting prices on these, so um, I'm sure both of us are willing to negotiate. Uh, especially the more you buy, the way that you're going to do this is if you see Tony, obviously you know how to get a hold of him, or you know how to get a hold of me. But whoever we're bringing on the show, they're going to give you their social handle, their email, whatever. Same with us, and you can reach out to us either after the show or i mean you could try during the show but we probably aren't gonna get to it uh, we're gonna have a hard time enough monitoring the chat but just reach out to us after the show whether it's us or whether it's our guests that come on and that's how we're gonna do these sales uh, and then you can arrange it there the whole point of the show is just like a card show uh vendors have their spots and their time and they're just showing off what they have available so now that we have that out of the way tony you can continue oh i i will continue oh my god put me on the spot here man <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll go, I'll start cheap on those, man. I'll do those Undertaker, um, uh, promos, I guess. I don't even know. I have to check. Uh, I was checking so much comps yesterday on some of these things just cause it's been so long since I've done anything, but yeah, I'm only two bucks a piece on these things. So that seems to be the going rate for them online. It's like that. So I've got 10 of them here. So if anybody's interested in these things, uh, you know, obviously leave a comment, of if you want them or not, uh, I don't even know what else to do with these. <laughs> this is uh, this is dull new stuff here, but um, yeah, two bucks a piece on those. Uh, I had doing uh, research last night was really hard for me because I haven't done it in so long and trying to find some of the things that I would like to offer up today and tomorrow mm-hmm. uh, was really difficult because some of the stuff I have is not easily found. I mean, I don't know, it doesn't, hasn't sold or, or there's only a couple of them. Um, I mean, I can go as far as like, hey, I, that's that's two bucks for those. Everybody kind of talked about this Trish Stratus butt card from <laughs> some guys calling it rookie from 2001. That's what I was box. getting ready. To, that's what I was getting ready to say is there are people that are, you know, and that, I guess they have legs to stand on that this would be one of her rookie cards. Yeah, it's a full motion 2001 WWF art box motion card, card number five. Now I'm going to tell you, there's nothing on eBay right now for these cards. But the last time that I sold one of these, these cards sell for 50 bucks plus. Now, if anybody's interested in those, I'm very happy to take offers in that price range. Uh, but let me know. And I'm not sure how we need. A, we need a third man. So we need a third man to go out there and kind of monitor these things. We might have a third man later tonight. Oh, 
Who's the third dun, man? Dun, I don't know. Dun. Everybody watching this live stream is going to have to stick around and find out That's who right. will be joining us at the end of the show for the last hour of tonight's show. I got those two things. What do you got, man? You got anything? I've got actually, I'm going to run through real quick a uh, stack of my stuff. I've got a whole stack of stuff that's only $5. $5 shipped, a uh, plain white envelope, but I that's how I ship most of my lower end cards. I'm um, not going to show off everything, but the uh, action figure cards. Nice. I have a whole stack of these. Uh, yeah, Triple H is in there. Uh, I don't know if I have a Rock or a Steve Austin in here. I'm just kind of running through these so you guys can see them. There's an Undertaker. Yeah. Um, a couple Undertakers. Uh, these Road Warrior ones are awesome, but I got to thin out the collection. Like, it's just a lot of people hate this time period of the Road Warriors, but they're cool cards. Um, a cool oh, Sunny that's, there. That's nice. So, again, China. all these $5 a piece shipped. Nice. Remember when they resurrected the NWA? They're yes. Like, the <laughs> <laughs> Owen. Yeah. Austin, yeah. yeah, I always kind of like these. Uh, fact and uh, thanks again for giving me the cactus and the mankind. The it has the facsimile plus the yes. actual autograph yes. on there, just kind of a cool feature. So, well, that that totally beats my Bret Hart one that I have still on card. <laughs> I, hey, you might be able to get that one cut out a little bit better than I would. Uh, this one's available too. This one is available too. Uh, I don't even know what I have that one for. Um, I have to do my search on here now, find out where Bret Hart is at on my list. Do I have Bret Hart on here? I sure do. Uh, yeah, it's five bucks. Same thing. We're just thinking the same thing. Five bucks. Great minds think alike, just like putting this show together. Now, uh, one thing to keep in mind for me, uh, my pricing does not include any shipping because some things are going to be oddball size like that. I have complete card sets like that. They're going to be obviously uh, going to require some shipping. So we can talk about that if you uh, wish to purchase anything. And I will also say that... Um... If you go to the wrestling, well, if you go to any of my platforms, I have the link tree and you can almost, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, um, my YouTube channel, the podcast, whatever it is you're finding with wrestling with cards, you can find the link to my eBay store. There's stuff there that's like super cheap and then stuff really expensive and everything in between that it may be, I might show some of that off tonight and then some of it I might not. I'm also always willing to negotiate, trade, anything like that. So if there's something you see tonight that I'm offering, make sure to get a hold of me. I can do uh, discounted prices for bulk deals. I can combine stuff on eBay with the stuff I'm showing off, all kinds of stuff. We got any, uh, do we have anything in the chat? I am, well, I have, I'm not even monitoring what's going on on YouTube right now. <laughs> oh, did you have a comp or something? I was. No, no. I'm just oh, checking okay. things out right now. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to actually get to the, to the channel so I can go and check out any uh, messages going on. Uh, all right well i will continue um, yeah, again go. everything i'm going to show off is like as far as this stack that i have in front of me five dollars out the door shipped and again if you want multiple uh, you know shipping discounts combined pricing all that stuff but i just tried to grab some uh most of this stuff uh, most of it's modern there's some vintage thrown in here but just some kind of some names that may be a little bit popular billy k rookie cards from tops i know there's still a a little bit of a market for her. Uh, I've got a couple of different Ruby Riot, Ruby Soho rookie cards. And, and I say rookie cards because I'm not going to get into the, the debate. All I can say is they just have the rookie card designation. There you right go, the there. RC logo right on yes, it. Yes, RC logo. So I also should say that most of these raw cards I have, um, I would just estimate like excellent to near mint condition is about what I would put all the raw stuff at. So give or take, I don't know if whoever's planning on grading these, but uh, here's some Selena Vega rookies. Uh, this one is a parallel. That's a bronze parallel to the base. But, uh, you know, with her winning the Queen of the Ring, figured somebody might like that. Got some uh, Andrade rookies. Again, just base stuff. Also still $5 a piece. Um, all right, so here's some interesting stuff. Same set, Warrior. This is a bronze parallel. It's kind of hard to see, but bronze parallel. Uh, first, Asuka, NXT nice. first. Uh, I've got some refractors that are probably in more people's minds. The Miz, 2015 Topps Chrome Refractor. I know the, you love him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, my lighting is just not very well. Uh, Biggie, 2015 Refractor. I like that rainbow and glow to it. It's got a nice rainbow they, tint. Xavier Rhodes, Rhodes Refractor Rookie. So, King of the Ring, 
current champion dancing with the stars figured it'd be pretty <laughs> pretty timely to put these guys out there all right uh, a couple uh more stuff alistair black okay this is the nxt first and this is a bronze parallel again all these five dollars shipped future stars alistair black future stars adam cole now here's some super i'm, in, I'm getting into tony's territory with this stack and this is one of those things i bought them purely out of nostalgia and then it got to the point where i was like you know so i'm selling some of this stuff i just need to thin out some of the collection i know you've probably seen these tony but you probably haven't seen them in a while these are the wwf sour gums oh my god yeah and you can see like that hogan's got like i don't know if it's mold or sugar that has it's probably old sugar on it probably yeah. so i've got a ton of these and these are essentially just paper wrappers that have the wrestler on them. God, I haven't I, seen those in a long time. Yeah. I, I just bought a lot of them on eBay like last year or something. And I was like, oh, I'll put the set together. And then you know how things go. You yep. just get overwhelmed with everything. Um, so the, everything of, so far you've got so far, those are all $5 shipped. All each. $5 shipped. And then if you want more, you know, combined, I can do first class shipping priority. If you're ordering in bulk, I can give discounts on bulk random Allen and Ginter tiger mask that was in you know a baseball card set from uh 2008 or 2019 yeah so i think it's interesting Allen and Ginter's always been cool to throw in random wrestling cards in with their sports uh i just love this image oh, that's a cool one <laughs> nothing fancy about that 99 nitro and then my last stack here um and i I don't hate these cards. You know how I feel about them, but I understand how iconic they are. The 1990 classic, but this is all Hogan. Yeah. So it's just the Hogan stuff. Again, $5 a piece. And then 91 classic, another stack of Hogan's, just different ones. And then there's a warrior in here somewhere. There he is. There he is. And there's another warrior. So again, all the raw stuff I've just showed off, $5 a piece shipped. So... That is all I've got for this segment. Um, got a few more minutes and we're going to have our first guest. Excellent. Excellent. I have a few other things as well. I mean, I don't know what the price point is like that. At least you've got uh, that going for you. I yeah. have uh, a bunch of 98 superstars. I I, there's something about the Raw is War banners hanging in the back of those that are just so nostalgic. I think I could do them for the same thing. $5 ship yeah. these each. Uh, the only one I will not do five dollars on will be that one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, a little... I could take some offers on this one. The comps on this show about twenty five bucks on this one. Yeah. So that's about I, what I see them at. I take it. At, I take that at, at, uh, shipped if that's somebody wants that. Man, I'm going to need your help going through all these messages later to find out who got what. <laughs> anybody got anything? Well, again, um, so far, uh, Caleb. Shout out collecting with Caleb. He'll be on here in a little bit. And actually, I believe, yeah, we've got him on the schedule. Uh, he wants one of those Undertaker promo cards, of course, because it's got Undertaker. It. Of course, man. But uh, once again, guys, anything you see us selling on here or any of our guests coming on to sell, make sure to reach out to them on social platforms to get more information about conditions, bulk pricing, anything like that. Yeah, and best way to get a hold of me would be going through wrestlingtradingcards.com. You can use the contact us page uh, and just you know, send a message there or just find me on Twitter. Uh, you can find it for wrestlingtradingcards.com. And mine is at Zan Morning on mainly Twitter and Instagram. I, I, I have Facebook, but I just don't use it like I use those others. Or you can just comment in this video later or comment on my channel on anything. Just there's there's tons of ways to get a hold of us. But a couple more minutes. Uh, you got any other random stuff? Um, I don't know. I got this one. Of course. Yeah. You're just pulling that out of that drawer again. Yeah. This one. <laughs> Man, that 87 tops design is so good. Isn't that a beautiful looking design? Yeah. Just. I, I don't even know what the comps were on those. I have to go back and check. Uh, checking those out now. I'm slow. That's okay. That's what we're here for. It's, it's our spot. It's our first spot. So uh, The average price is usually a dollar to 15 bucks on the Hogan. That's the average price I've been seeing for comps. So I'll probably do that, you know, eight delivered. And then on the Savage one, that one seems to be going uh, somewhere between five and 30 bucks. Uh, that's what I saw on eBay. So I go somewhere yeah. in the middle and go 14 delivered. That sounds about right. There's the backside, so. 
Anybody interested in those? Absolutely. Uh, I think we're just about ready to go, right? Are we not? I'm ready to go if you are. Uh, who's first? We've got sports card Zane. Zane's up? Yeah. Let's welcome to them in the room. How's that? Let's welcome. Woo! Everybody Good. give him. I got the official WTC cowbell. <laughs> First time it gets to be used. <laughs> oh, that just made the show. I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> uh, you know, thank you. Compliments of uh, Husker have. Nice. <laughs> he, just, he sends me, goes, I need your address. I have a special gift. You're going to like it. And I go, okay. And then I, I get this box and it's a completely damaged box. And I go, I hear this ding, ding, ding inside. I go, I think it's damaged. And I open it up and it's a cowbell. But it's a, yeah. and it, it just, you just. <laughs> Officially, the official <laughs> WTC. Yeah. We're waiting for um, uh, Zane to get in here. Uh, Gotta start sure. your video, sir. Guys, when you, uh, anybody who's jumping in, who's got spots, make sure when you're ready to go that you have your video ready to turn on and audio turned on. And you're on Zoom. Uh, the controls are in your lower left-hand corner. Uh, we'll say stop video, start video, and uh, mute and all that stuff's right there. So I'm hoping that uh, he gets on here soon. Ask to unmute. Okay, I'm asking him. Oh, okay. I, can we hear him? Oh, and do there we, we see go. him? There he is. Hi, man. What's up? What's going on, man? Um, yeah, I'm good. How are you? Doing real good. Thanks uh, for being the first guest on this. Oh, it's a pleasure. Let me Excellent. just uh, switch the camera. Okay. Uh, shall I start now? Yeah, go yep. for it. It's all Platform yours. Platform is yours. It's all yours. Okay, I'll start off with um, quite a few... Well, I'll leave the good stuff till the end. So I've got uh -oh. quite a bit... <laughs> so um first of all i've got quite a lot of these tna cards from 2004 uh i'll take a one dollar each on them but um i can do a book deal on these um so yeah how many That's, you got it's a incomplete set so it's probably half the set in there okay <clears throat> and are most of those uh, the base or do you have any of the red foils uh no the old base okay uh, this binder um has quite a few things in it so um we've got this tito santana um card that i don't know where what set it's from if i just take it out it's got some um interesting arabic writing which is uh, pretty cool Oh, it's a great um, question got, for Husker have. He'd know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've got a few Eddie Guerrero cards and stickers, as you can see. And I think these were European. Yes, those are like, uh, is that Edibus? Yes. Yeah. 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 2003, and 4, 5, and 6, something like that. Yeah. And also two Eddie Guerrero stickers as well from... The champion set. Oh, nice. I've also got a Rhea Ripley yeah. uh, rookie card from Slam Attacks, which uh, is pretty cool. Got a really uh, obscure one here. It's a uh, go from the Tops Trump set. Uh, so oh, the, yeah. this is a bit oversized than the regular cards that you have. So I've also got... Um, a few of these Dominic Mysterio cards, which is his first release card aside from the Top Now autograph cards. Nice. And uh, I've also got quite a few of these Alexa Bliss Slam Attacks cards. That is awesome. Those are cool looking cards, man. Yeah. Uh, some more uh, of those Slam Attacks cards. Um, these are for some more wrestlers. What are you asking for these? Um, for the uh, Eddie Guerrero cards, I'm asking three dollars each. Um, however, uh, if you buy all three, uh, to be honest, if you just anyone who's interested, if you just give me a message and throw in an offer for um, multiple cards, I'll consider them. 
Uh, but yeah, these are three dollars each. I'll do the stickers for one fifty. Uh, the Rhea Ripley card, uh, five dollars. The Anthony Ogogo, I'll do two fifty, and these Dom Mysterio cards, I'll do two dollars each. Uh, these Alexa Bliss cards, I'll do two dollars each as well, and uh, these other Slam Tax two thousand twenty one cards, I'll do a dollar fifty for. Some more. Uh, these are from the Slam Tax Superstar set from 2013. Um, these are uh, like signature move and finisher cards. So um, I'd be looking to get around about five dollars each for these. And this is a really uh, rare one as well. This is a um, John Cena and The Rock Champions card. Um, I believe this is the highest. Um, in terms of the stats, the highest card that you can get in the game. Um, for this one, um, I've seen one sell for $10, so I'll be asking $10 for that. And these cards... Pretty belts. Pretty belts. Yeah. And uh, these cards are from the same set as well. Um, they've got uh, some pay-per-view cards and some belt cards. I'm asking uh, 2 dollars each for those. Um Got a few more of those belt cards. Um, this Deborah card, I'll do 154. And we've also got a 1998 Comic Images Kane card, which I'll do $7 for. And we also have a few of these Slam Attacks 2020 uh, rookie cards um, in terms of they are the first WWE released um, cards. So you've got Shotzi, Kane, and uh, we also have uh, probably the three notable ones, which are Rafa Gonzalez, Scarlet, and Karrion Cross. I think yeah. you, might have a buy- you might have a buyer for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. I think I got it. For- I may have gotten it from him a while ago. I don't remember. <laughs> and then we have one uh, that um, yeah. I've checked recent comps on this one, and uh, there's been two. I think one so far about. Ten dollars and one for run about six. My so, favorite um, thing, my favorite thing about that card is Michael Hayes trying to act young. <laughs> exactly, he's like, "Took me out my tight shirt, man." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this binder has a lot of the comic images cards. Um, this, to be honest, has a lot of random cards from the Attitude Era. So um, some more there. A lot of SmackDown, and then, a lot of yeah. some of that Chrome yeah. stuff. Yep. Yeah. And the Chrome checklist as well, which is probably one of my favorite cards as well. And we have some um, No Mercy cards as well from 2000. Oh, look at that Kane card. Yeah, I was just going to say, me and Tony have always talked on several of our shows how good the photography is on that yep. set. Yeah. And there's a Taz rookie card as well. Got some more cards as well from this set. Is there a Kurt there Angle in there? <laughs> oh, I've got that coming up. <laughs> right, um, this he is did say he was saving the best for last. He did, that's right. <laughs> um, this is, well, these um, wrestling rated items I've actually never seen before. They're basically like Folded I like dividers. I like that a lot. Oh, so cool. So we got Triple H, Jericho, got The Undertaker, and Stone Cold. Oh. Um, we've got some, we've got one of Kane, and probably my favorite, The Rock, oh. which is just That's awesome. <laughs> and what, these are what, these are folder dividers, right? Yeah, um, I'm not sure where they're from, but yeah, they're pretty cool. That's really cool. I've That's never seen those before. <laughs> yeah, me neither. And uh, I've got these stack of cards. Um, got these Nikki Bella relic cards from a, a Nikki Bella a lot that I picked up. Um, so yeah, I'm asking four dollars each for these. Um, however, I can do um. A deal if you buy two or all three. Um, got some of these flare cards. Um, 
which I've seen comps on these and they're pretty pro- popular, especially the Stacy Keebler one, which um, seen one of these sell for uh, $10. Wow. Uh, one of these sell for four five dollars. So um, I'll be asking around about four dollars each for these. Oh, I should have broke. I actually, it's so funny how that. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ruin his time. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I've got some of these Fleer um, WrestleMania 20 promotional cards. Those are awesome. as well. I think I think those are so undervalued. Yeah. Because they weren't cheap to get. No, I, I believe you had to um, mail in your bill for, yeah. You did. Um, in order to get these. And there's a Trish Stratus one. So are those, those full sets cool or thing. individual cards? Uh, no, these are uh, individual cards. Gotcha. I only have five of these. Um, I also have these... It's, it's like we went through our stuff together or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I also have these motion cards as well, which um, there's one of Stephanie and then this one of Trish and Lita. They've got these printing signatures up on the back as well, which are pretty cool. And um, I've got a pretty... Uh, a card that I don't think many people are looking at, but that's yeah. one of the... First what? release Kurt Angle cards. Right up my alley, Rodin. baby. Right up my alley. Yeah. Is that so, the? Yeah. Uh, that's not. That's the paper one. A uh, uh, promo, right? Yeah. Because the back has got the detail information on the back of that for uh, the, the release. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. A couple quick questions we we've got in the chat. Uh, how much for the uh, the folder dividers again, and then how much for the cards? To be honest, I'm not too sure on these folded dividers. Um, so I'll just be looking to see what offers there are on these. Um, uh, but I'll give you um, my details at the end um, on how to contact sure. me. And the um, same with these uh, promotional cards. And I've only sold the, I believe it's the Eddie Guerrero one, which was for uh, twenty dollars um about a year ago so um i'd want around about the same for that and um, for the others um but i'll be happy to see what people offer i've got the uh, no mercy cut on there, the card. there you go there we go there we go pretty cool card surprisingly and... i need that card actually <laughs> uh oh there you go <laughs> Um, I also have these two CM Punk rookie cards, which are just high in demand. Yeah. Right. I got this one of uh, the Gathering as the tag team. There we go. That's the back of the card. And then we also have the CM Punk. The red. Um, Michael yeah. Moore did a great article for us about talking yeah. about his stuff, and that that card's mentioned in the article. Yeah. And uh, this is a really rare card. Um, Tony, I'm sure you'd be pretty surprised to see this. No, no. Oh, yeah. Check it yeah. out. Love it. So for anybody, let me just cut you off. For anybody that has listened to us talk about promo cards and the Chromium Tech Chrome card, this is exactly what it is. Yeah, this is the uh, Tech Chrome Pro. I, I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, it's the first Chromium card done in wrestling. Yep. Yeah, so uh, I actually have two of these. I have uh, one which, this is the better condition one, which I'll be selling. And I have one in storage, which um, is pretty beat up. The corners are rounded and it's not in that good of a condition. However, um, I'll be keeping that one because it's just so cool um, on how I got that. But yeah, I'll be uh, definitely taking offers on this one. Yeah, so ha- have you tried to comp that card at all to find out what it's going for? Because I-, I have a few of those, and I was wondering what I should try to do something with. Yeah, I've tried to check what they've been going for. However, I've just been very unsuccessful on seeing 
any sold listings. That's you and, you and, so, Yvonne. Yeah, and if you don't mind, read the back of that card for us and tell us how many it says are printed on there, just so people can get an idea. Yeah, there's it says uh, one of only ten thousand produced. Yeah, you know, but yeah, produced. But that doesn't mean there's ten thousand floating around out there. So Not think, even close. I, I think a lot of those got just trashed. Yeah. It's the I'd same with the. Uh, I'd be surprised if there were a thousand, to be honest. I agree. Yeah. It's, it's the same dilemma with the um, action pack cards of The Undertaker and The uh, Macho Man. Yes. Which um, I have both of them, actually. And uh, this is another really rare card that I'll be showing. <laughs> oh, there's uh, Michael Hayes autograph. again. That's the autograph yeah, one this SmackDown. Yeah, this is the rookie autograph of Matt and Jeff Hardy from uh, Comic Images. Nice. There it is. Again, this is uh, this is one of two I I have, and uh, thought someone should uh, probably have this. If they're interested. Yeah, I think that will do it. To be and honest. I you're going to get that, like coming out of the gate hot with this card, Siri. <laughs> yeah. It's got some good stuff there, man. Yeah. You have a, an so, idea roundabout what you're looking for on that Hardy's autograph? Uh, to be honest, again, there's no sold listings on this. So um, I'd just be going off of office, to be honest. Okay. I know that there's one uh, graded on eBay right now for and about $400. Um, by no means do I want that much, but um, just uh, something something to think about um, because, yeah, I haven't really seen any of these sold. I just, it's kind of like that tech chrome. Like you just don't even see very many of them pop up. Yeah. yeah, it's very rare. All right. Well, Zane, let everybody know where they can find you to get a hold of you about possibly buying some of this stuff from you. Yeah, so you can um, contact me on Twitter at the Sports Card Collector Dash Zane, and you can also join my Facebook group, Wrestling Trading Cards and Stickers UK. Um, I'm so close to 400 uh, members, so if we if we can get to that 400, I'll also be doing a giveaway um, of a few cards, and uh, yeah, hopefully. Uh, some of you guys can join. I just, I just appreciate it so much, guys. Yep, let's let's raid. Um, if you could uh, send us, tag me and tag Tony in a tweet, and we will retweet that uh, link to the Facebook group, and hopefully everybody can kind of raid over there and help join you. Tony, let's yeah. give this guy a random giveaway. That's what should we give? Him? Let's say, uh, who do you like? Oh, since, since we're talking about the Hardys, we got okay. the Hardys on there. You get your choice, sir. Of either this signed eight by ten by Matt Hardy or this signed eight by ten by Matt Hardy. Uh, I'll take the second one, please. Blue or white? Uh, white. You got it, man. All right, thank you. Make sure you Zane, reach out to for... me, contact me, give me your shipping information, yeah. and I'll get that set up to you. Yeah, Zane, thanks guys, for joining us. Thanks for being you. our first guest. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Who do we got next? Me and you. Oh, me and you. Yeah. Sweet. So, I got, uh, being, I got, reason... got Matt on here uh, going and, and telling us we should be tweeting more. But, you know, we're trying to run a show here, Matt. <laughs> yeah. He, sh he should have been our producer. Yeah, he could be our producer. That's, that's like right up his alley, next man. Time. He's good at that. Yep. Um, so the reason that we're going to kind of just fill this spot here, we did have somebody that had this and they were unable to make it. Uh, no big deal, though. We'll just kind of, I guess, talk through it and see what we'll else we'll talk right through it. No big deal, man. So, what else you got, Tony? I think you've got more stuff to sell than I do. I, I, I got, uh, since he pulled that, talked about that card, I do have the Undertaker promo. So, it's a prototype one. Got back then, I had it for $2 back then. <laughs> this is back when I had my booth at Frankenstein. Years and years it's like ago. When, when you when you buy a collectible or something and it's still got the like dollar fifty nine Walmart nine, tag, nine on cent yeah. tag on it. <laughs> uh, so I was uh, trying to do some comps on this uh, as well. I, I did it on everything pretty much, and I was just looking around trying to see what uh, what was going for what. And um, I don't even know if I even did uh, look for this one as far as like pricing on the promo card. 
Yeah, I did actually. Uh, it's surprising. You want to know what the prototype comp on this is? This is a prototype. $75 on eBay for this card. What? $75 is what the, the current one that I have. It's uh, the only comp I could find last night on this one. So I'm open that's, to any offers nuts. on this. It is nuts, but I'm open to any offers on this one. Uh, so let me know if anybody's interested, you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, I'll be happy to entertain any offers on this. Um, speaking of action pack, mind if I go through this one? Let's do it. All right. Let's start with not one. Not oh. Let me but, stop you. But you've not even showed these off, and you've got somebody wanting them. Wanting what? The what you're showing. Oh, uh, you want them? <laughs> no, somebody, somebody. I was reading the chat. <laughs> really? How do they know? No idea. There's no way they know this. Well, I might have been able to. I think I put these up on um, so on Twitter. This is from David Boothroyd. Tony, I'm looking for the 1994 Action Pack 24 karat gold Shawn Michaels. Uh, I have 1994, this one. <laughs> That's the one. So comps on that, by the way, uh, was kind of across the board on some stuff. Well, actually they're all around the same, same price point. The only difference was for some reason, the 1995 versions are much harder to find than the 94 versions. And the 94 versions are hard to find too. Right. So they were averaging anywhere from 40 to a hundred dollars for some of these cards. So the average price point was somewhere around 60, 65. I'll do it at 50. So it's uh, definitely the, God, I had it for $10 back in the day. This was back in 2006. It's also amazing. Uh, most of the stuff I'm assuming came from your storage. It did. And, and how good a condition everything still is in. Because I just keep everything in drawers and I keep everything in sleeved if I can. Um, and it, it just sits in a box. It doesn't get moved around anywhere. It just sits there. Um, so I had the Shawn Michaels, which is number two G. And then I have, uh, the Razor Ramon, which is number one G all the, all the same price. Uh, Bret Hart, which is four G and Steiner brothers, which is five G. So that's the best oh. coverage possible these days. Uh, David <laughs> says, David says your Shawn Michaels is sold. Okay, sweet. I'll put that aside. Um, and then you got, uh, Steiner brothers, which says five G. So they have the best coverage. Um, <laughs> And then we got uh, from the 95 set, there's the Shawn Michaels one from 95, and that is number 1G. Now, this one. Yeah, the 95s you just don't see. You don't see. And uh, so. Um, you got another person wanting the uh, Razor Ramon. So. Razor Ramon? Yeah, okay. so they were interested in that one. I'll put it aside. I mean, I'm not going to put anything aside till I get everything from everybody as far as they, who reach out to me. So the best way to get a hold of me for this is going to be, if you want to just uh, email me directly, it's going to be wrestling trading cards at gmail.com easy enough yep easy enough uh i don't uh, price on the on the sean from the 95 again uh i have uh there's no no comparable comp for this yeah uh, uh chuckster welcome chuckster, chuckster. Uh, do, you have, do you have the bret hart gold from set one yeah that's what you just showed off i right? just showed yes yeah, so that's right here so this is uh bret hart is number four g Oh, there's the there you go, 4G. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, and I know I have an extra one of the Bret Hart one, uh, but that definitely has it has a crease in the middle of it. These ones do are are great. Um, do we have any more? How much more time have we got? We have ten minutes. Uh, anybody interested in the 1989 version of Ultimate Warrior? Card number five. I'm partial to those over the over the regular 1990 classic, just because you know it's it's got the year printed on it. Therefore, it's not still... only the year printed on it, but while I was transferring over the website to the new domain uh, server, uh, made a notation down here. It doesn't say that it's a classic games card. It right. actually says it's a good times, good um, times ink. Chuckster says he'll take your Bret Hart. Chuckster wants the Bret Hart. You got it, buddy. We, we need a we need a gavel. To go with the uh, bell, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anybody interested in a header card from, this is the 1988, not the test run. It's a full white back. <laughs> but uh, got that one as well. Uh, those, uh, I've been checking them on, uh, see what they were going for. And uh, I know I got them in here somewhere. 
God, I, I have too much stuff. I, I should have just really limited no. it even further. <laughs> I really should have. <laughs> I feel horrible uh, that I'm taking up uh, precious airtime here for. Uh, this well, stuff. if you're looking up a comp, I can throw some stuff up. Yeah, please do. Uh, Matt says more cowbell. All right. So this is totally random. WWF lunchbox bags. And these are in really good condition. $10 a piece shipped on these. Or if you want all of them, I'm sure I could work some kind of deal out on you. I thought about keeping these and putting them in a frame because I think they would look really cool all framed together. But cool. I just, I don't know. I just need to thin some stuff out. So Stuff's got to go. Yep. Can't keep, you know, on uh, the recent episode I did with collecting with Caleb, who's our next guest, coincidentally. Nice. Talking about the streak PC. Uh, he's like, you know, you, you can't hold on to everything. And that's exactly why we're doing this because exactly. we need to get, get rid of some stuff. Tony's got to open a store so all of you guys can go to his store and buy more stuff. Yeah. But you know what? Based on my recent PSA finally went through it being shipped out to me. I checked my grades. I ain't going to reveal anything because I'm going to do a video on that. Uh, but that store is going to be within, <laughs> within my grasp. <laughs> um, a couple quick things from the chat. How much did you say on the 89 warrior? Uh, 89 warrior. I did not say anything, did I? Uh, no. duh, 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 duh. uh it's, it has no comparable comps. And I'll tell you why, because everybody on eBay who has one listed graded the graded ones, there's a couple graded ones up there from 89 and it goes for hundreds of dollars, of course. Um, but uh, everybody else has the singles of the 1990 version. So I don't have a really a, a major comp. I figured 10 bucks shipped. I don't know. It's a great card. I mean, you can have it very, very well centered. Um, I must have missed Chris. Uh, shout out Chris Johnson in the chat. Uh, creased Bret Hart. I have one. Um, I don't know where it's at. I, I just know okay. I have one. Um, and then, that's why um, I, I, when I found these, I go, oh, so I have two of them. <laughs> uh, Hans in the chat, can you explain the 1995 action pack to gold cards? Are they inserts or just a basic set? It's like a subset. For Yeah, they're, they're, they're chase cards. That's what they are. So they're basically in the 94 one. It's the last six cards in the set. Those got the 24 karat gold version on it. And it says right on them. Let's see if we can show you what it says right there. It'll say like right on it. Right up in there, it says 24 karat gold on that one, as opposed to the, the regular one. And it's also numbered That's one what four I was G. Say. Yeah, the G on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those were randoms like that. You weren't even, you might get one in every third or fourth box. Uh, David says he'll take your 89 warrior for 10. You got it. Done. Um, You're going to have to have a pile just for David. He's going to clean you out. Probably. So. Um, uh, I actually, I pulled that card aside for a giveaway. Um, let's see. I don't have as much stuff as Tony. So what else you got, man? I got one other thing. That's completely random. Who likes major wrestling figure podcasts? Who likes, <laughs> who wants a Dan Housen? Who wants smart Mark Sterling? Who wants maybe an empty, you know, we don't know what we're getting in here, but as far as I know, this is one of the last few sealed there's two packs in here. I never did open mine. So wait, so you, that's a sealed bot pack. How many, how many packs are in it? You have two packs in there. Mm -hmm. So you have, there's 10 cards in there. Yep. <laughs> so if anybody wants it, 300 bucks shipped. Woo! That's I've a nice to, one. I've yet to see another one on there, but, um, also, you know, I'm always open for trade. So if you guys want to trade, um, again, at the same morning on social platforms, you guys know where to find uh, me. I think Matt wants probably. it. Fine. Works for me. <laughs> if I what I'm thinking. It's a little uh, bit of a three, gamble, but it's good. 300 shipped priority, Matt. Um, anybody, how much more time we got? Two minutes. Two minutes. I'll, I'll wait till later then. I've got, I've got some new stuff. If anybody is looking for some stuff in the uh, new 2021 Chrome. Oh, what a teaser for our, for, you know, next opening that we have, but Caleb's up. If you want to bring him in, let's bring him in. Yeah. Let's bring him in here. All right. Everybody welcome Caleb. <laughs> I'm going to make that, this, that this cowbell cowbell thing. annoying. <laughs> no, this is the best. Like it's, it's the official show prop. Uh, thank you again, Husker have. I appreciate that one. <laughs> 
And thanks to everybody in the chat. Uh, thanks for being active and participating and joining us for history. I'm waiting okay. for him to unmute and, and hit that video, man. He might there be he history. Is. There he is. All right. Can you guys All hear right, me? man. Good to see you again. What's going on? You know, Not just running, hey, look at us. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait something. a minute. You can't have the competition shirt yeah, on. Come on, man. What are you doing? Hey, the WTC one is in the laundry. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Well, I can't wait to see what you got today. Thanks for joining us. And uh, yeah, the floor course. is yours. You got 15 minutes. Go for it. Awesome. Sounds good. I appreciate it. Um, so I got a pretty random hodgepodge of things. I'll go through some of the um, like less expensive stuff, kind of like Zane did, and then uh, build up. So first thing I have is a stack of last year's Chrome refractors. Some of the uh, bigger names, so like AJ Styles, Alistair Black, Matt Riddle. I have some of the image variations. Uh, Johnny Gargano, Bailey, Randy Orton, Kyrie Sane, Jay Uso. So if anybody's looking for some of those for their collection, I'm asking $2 a piece on the refractors from last year. And I also have X Fractors. From last year as well. Kind of hard to see. Nice. Um, but I got Luke Gallows, Mustafa Ali, Seamus, Sami Zayn, um, and Zelina Vega. I'm asking $3 for those. Zan's a uh, personal PC now. It's going to be a Miz. So if you have any Miz ones, I'll take those. That's what I heard, <laughs> man. I need to start pulling those out with the carrying Yeah, crosses. I'm going to get rid of the carrying cross rainbow for like the Miz <laughs> card. That's know? right. He'll take base. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in quantity. Yeah. <laughs> um, next is a couple of last year's finest uh, refractors. So I got Murphy, Ivar, Eric, Daniel Bryan, Kevin Owens, and then Dakota Kai, X Factor. That's, yep. That's nice. So again, I'll do $2 on refractors, $3 on X Factors from last year's stuff. And again, same as uh, everybody else has been saying, if you have offers for any of this stuff um, or whatnot, feel free to shoot them in the chat. I'm trying to keep it open on the side so I can see what people are saying. Um, and also, I'm, mon I'm monitoring if you just want to focus on your cards. Okay, cool. And also, um, I'm always down to trade. I really like trading. That's one of my favorite parts about the uh, wrestling card community is swapping yeah. cards with people. Well, they are I called trading cards. <laughs> exactly. That's what makes them fun. Okay. Next thing I got, I'll do these 91 uh, WWF playing cards. I have everything except the Undertakers because I'm keeping those for my collection. <laughs> um, but these are, I'd say, excellent to near mint condition probably. Um, I do... A dollar a piece on everybody except for Hulk, uh, Macho Man, and Ultimate Warrior. Which ones are those? Do these. The U.S. Gotcha. US playing card company. Gotcha. Yep. 1991 playing cards. Uh, so I do $2 on Hulk, Macho Man, which is this one. And Ultimate Warrior is the other one I'm asking $2 for. And that is, looks like that. But also in this set is Mr. Perfect, Ted DiBiase, British Bulldog, Big Boss Man, uh, Miss Elizabeth, Legion of Doom, uh, Roddy Piper. So a whole lot of. Uh, yeah, and the Roddy Piper, of course, they had to give him the Joker. Yep, he's like, the that's, Joker. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'll Someone was uh, thinking smart on that. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, Roddy Piper's right there, the Joker card. Yep. Yep. So those are really cool. Again, I think I got these from Zan. I got them for the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Undertaker cards. And oh, that you did, and that was like so long ago. I've already forgotten. Right. <laughs> That's how many trades that I think both of us have probably done in between. I them. know, right? Yeah. Um, up next. 1995 WCW uh, Hulk Hogan and some Ric Flair cards. So the first one I have is Hogan and Vader there. 
Then the second one is Hogan and Flair together. And last one. Now, this is one that I'm going to get signed. I'm going to a card show to see Ric Flair on Sunday. We get this one signed and then hopefully get Hogan to sign it eventually. So I'm asking $5 each on those. And I have multiples. So if more than one person wants one, I got a, a little stack there of those ones. Those are excellent. I love that set. Yeah, those are really cool looking cards. Yeah, Zan did a, an amazing multi part videos on, on that stuff. Thank it's you. just an awesome set. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, and those cards that he showed off, like those are, you don't see those, I don't think, as often as like the, the main base set. You sure. Know? Right. Those, those, this is one that I was looking for for a while and didn't see many for under $10 a piece, really. Um, I was able to get them all in a lot together. So I have some extras. I kept some for the, collection and willing to pass them on at a better deal than what they have on eBay right now. Next one I have 1990 Rockers card. This is one um, it has a very slight ding on the back corner so not mint condition I wouldn't say um, but I'm happy to do five dollars on that or if anybody um, has offers or trades of course, welcome to put those in. After that, I got the 2009 uh, Nikki and Brie Bella. I think this was one of their first cards. Um, again, those are probably excellent to near mint condition. Um, and I would be happy at $10 for the pair of those. Then these are some that I think Tony was talking about, somebody was talking about them on Twitter. Anyway, they're these inserts from the- Oh yeah, No Mercy set. Yeah, 2000 was, No Mercy. So I've got- uh, hard, Hardcore titles, I think, Hardcore yep, Champions. The Hardcore Champions subset. I've got Hardcore Holly, Mr. Ass, British Bulldog, and Test. So if anybody is interested in that, it's kind of like a partial set. Uh, I think there's like eight or 10 cards in that set. Um, go check a website and find out. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing we know a guy. <laughs> I know a guy who knows a guy. <laughs> but yeah, I, I know there's a mankind one in the set that I don't have um, and a couple others. But for those, I would be willing to do $2 a piece. That is an eight card set, sir. There we go. Yep. And they're really cool. Um, Re uh, Caleb, wrestle yep. with Andy. He says uh, he will take the Bellas. Awesome. So if you Thank want to put those Andy. aside, you can contact him later. Yep, sounds good. And anybody that is interested in buying, trading, making offers, uh, the best way to contact me is on Twitter, at Collecting with C. Um, yeah, I'm also on Instagram, but I'm still trying to make myself be active on there. Definitely a lot <laughs> more active on, <laughs> on Twitter. I think most wrestling fans, card collectors, seem to be on Twitter. We talk about it a lot. Yeah. I think Twitter's the place to be, really. For, yeah, it, I yeah. agree. Yeah, it's one. It's the platform that I've used the longest too. I think I'm kind of stuck in my ways with it at this point. Although the, the Discord channel is picking up a little bit. There's a lot more mm -hmm. activity yeah. going on there, which I like. Yeah, I've noticed there's a lot of people joining recently, so that's super exciting. I'm also in there if anybody is in the Discord and wants to reach out through that. Next card is. 2006, Candace Michelle, X Fractor. Heritage. Yep. I don't think, I don't think people realize like how much more rare the X Fractors were back in those sets. Oh yeah, definitely. Tough. Yep. This is a card. I got a card show a couple months back. Um, asking ten dollars for the Candace Michelle X Fractor, and those cards look so good in hand, even better yeah. than the refractors. Something okay. about all that little crisscrossing. So I just love yep. it. The little yeah. squares are awesome. Most definitely. So that was all the kind of lower end stuff. I'll start getting into some of the more exciting things. Um, this is Johnny Gargano, a Matt Relic from NXT TakeOver Philadelphia 2018, numbered out of 299. 
Um, I'm asking $5 for the Johnny Gargano. After that, we got 1997 uh, Panini sticker of China. Is that one of her first ones? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I think it's one of the ones that people kind of consider in the rookie. So in, that, in that 97, is that obviously you got The Rock, you got Stone Cold, everybody wants. And then China, and then Sable too, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah. I, I, well, yeah. I know she's in it because you guys sent it to no, me. I, no, I want yeah, it. No, that, I think we were debating that when I did that box break with the Amwax because yeah, I think yeah. we pulled a Sable and I was like, I'm pretty sure this is her first. So Yeah. Yeah. I, cards... I, I, that's the one I won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, those cards are really cool. I like how they look a lot. Um, masking fifteen dollars on the China. Up next, oh my God, is it, it is <laughs> you in the drawer. It's the almost Mary as fam- it's almost as famous as the storage now. I know. <laughs> the, the Mary Poppins drawer. Yeah. <laughs> I see someone in a uh, real JDC talking about the Chrome refractors. So yeah, definitely hit me yeah. up on Twitter. I'll be happy to work out a trade with you. Uh, up next is a non-wrestling set. It is 2008 Wild. pop cards. That's awesome. That yeah. is, that's awesome. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson, and it's the gold parallel. So there's a I base was gonna card, say, yeah. and then there's a gold parallel. Uh, one that you don't see a whole lot. Um, if I had to guess, probably in like the 20 to $30 range is what I'd be looking at for, uh, for price or for trades. But it's fair. just a... A super cool card, especially with him doing all the movie stuff now. He's in his uh, tuxedo in his acting role. Um, this is a really cool Shoot, card. Nobody, if nobody claims this very quick, I'm going to take it. Yeah, definitely. And then on the back. I'll be fair if anybody I'm a host. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. And if anybody is looking for other um, like cards of celebrities and actors, I know we're doing wrestling stuff tonight, but I have a whole lot of these pop card extras that have like Scarlett Johansson and uh, Jared Leto and different actors like that. So if you guys are into that stuff as well, um, reach out to me on Twitter and I'll show you what I got. Cool. Yep. Next up we have undisputed. Bubba Ray. Nice. Uh, autograph relic out of 99. Um, this is from which year undisputed 2016 undisputed. Uh, so I'm asking thirty dollars for that one. Okay, now we're getting into some of the stuff Tony might like. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I've shown him this one before. Uh, this is 2010 TNA nice. signature moves red uh, red parallel numbered out of. Five. Oh, no, oh don't. You're there. killing me, dude. Oh. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> up there at the top. Number three of five. I saw You're it at a card me. show. I saw it at a card show and I thought, man, Tony needs this. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> yeah, now you can hold him hostage with it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then also, I didn't realize that you were still looking for one of these. I also have a no uh, mercy curtain. Well, I, I have one in a, I have one in a complete set. I just don't want to break the uh, setup for yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. I got you. Yeah, I wouldn't so I, either. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Zane, for also having the same card listed up, uh, but I can offer you a combo bundle deal. Oh, okay, we'll talk. We'll talk angles. offline for sure. <laughs> yep, yep, we can figure something out. Uh, then I also have a sealed set of this year's uh, Kevin Gust art cards. Love those cards so much. Yes, this is one of my favorite wrestling sets. Um, I don't want to say you, anything. I don't want to say too much, but be prepared for something he's got coming out. It's going to be yep. such kick ass. It's Definitely. so cool. His work across wrestling, baseball cards, everything he makes is incredible. This is a set that's still sealed. It's got the sticker up there. He has sold out of these. Um, so if that's something you guys are looking for. I highly recommend you grab one of these sets. They're just beautiful cards. Everybody's got uh, like their their picture, and then they also have a. Uh, like a finishing move and cool right up in the bottom. That, does that um, one have a special? Like, did he give it throw in a special for that as well too, or is that just the complete set? Yeah, that's just the complete set. Okay. I also have separately uh, two of the variants. Oh yeah, Macho Man and Ric Flair. Uh, I'll probably be keeping the Ric Flair from that one, but if anybody wants the the Randy Savage uh, variation, I'd be willing to nice. get rid of that one. I know, okay. I know a guy. 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> Next, I have what's left of my uh, major wrestling figure pod autographs. I've got Mikey Whipwreck autograph, Matt Cardona nice. autograph, Brian Myers, Hornswoggle, and Rory Fox. Nice. Yep. And Rapid on, delivery, Rory Fox. <laughs> yep. And on each of those, I'm asking $30. Or if you want to take more than one, I'd be willing to, of course, give you guys a little bit of a... It's incredible how a brand new release just all of a sudden just already from I love the get-go. It. The get-go. I, love, I it. love it. I love mm-hmm. it, too. Yep. I was really optimistic about the set, and it even over-delivered from what I was expecting. So I was super happy with how those turned out. Let everybody know again real quick how they can get a hold of you. Yeah, definitely. Anybody interested in any of these cards, uh, message me on Twitter at Collecting with C or Instagram at Collecting with Caleb. I'll definitely be a little bit slower responding on Instagram though. So if you reach out on there, give me some time. Also, if you guys are in the Wrestling Trading Cards uh, Discord, you can find me on there as well. Then the last two last two things I've had I have 2018 all in. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's leaving the big guns last, man. <laughs> MJF autograph. Yep. So this is this is my dude in AEW. I love watching him work. He's one of the best heels out, if not the best heel. Um, awesome wrestler. And I have a couple of these uh, autograph cards. I'm willing to part with one, um, asking a one hundred dollars. They went on. That's actually not bad. Spots. That's a good price. That's yeah, a really good price. They went on high spots. Uh, for sale at $100 a while back. They've offered them for cheaper cents, but last week, I'm pretty sure they went through their final stock of all of their all-in autograph cards. So I don't think that they'll be offering any more autographs. Um, So I'll make that one available if anybody is a big MJF fan. And then same for a sealed set. Oh, oh. (laughs) Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) Of 2018 all-in. This is one that, if it doesn't sell, I'm perfectly fine with holding it yeah. as long yeah. as need be. So I'm asking 300 for the, that set. That's about the going set, uh, right. going price. Um, but if anybody is looking for uh, trades or to buy, I'm also looking for some of those other um, like indie sets, like the PWG Bola sets and whatnot. So if anybody has those and wants to swap uh, for all in, uh, be glad to talk about that. But yeah, that's the last of my my pile here. So if anybody has any questions, wants to see more up close pictures of the cards, hit me up on Twitter. Um, but if not, if nothing else, that's what I got. Thank you guys. I gave everybody a fair shot, but they didn't claim it. Put the gold rock away for me, please. Perfect. <laughs> yep. And then uh, so Tony you had your chance. Yeah. Hey, they, they, we've promoted this thing long enough. They should have tuned in live. Yep. Mm. Tony, we got more free random giveaways. We do. I, I don't know uh, what I could offer him that'd be up his alley, though. Yeah, okay. Um, want a guy or a girl autograph? Uh, let's go with the guy. Okay, let me narrow it down. We're narrowing this down. Yeah, they're okay, just completely, I like this. They're random. Completely random. Random, to- to- random Tony draws. Here. <laughs> so, well, I'm just trying it. to figure out what you want. Uh, you want, you like uh, more mainstream Cruiserweight, uh, hardcore. Let's go hardcore. Done. Right there. How about a Sabu autographed 8x10? Ooh, I love what's it. Ni- what's oh. nice about this one, which I love about this one, the backside of it has an entire title history in the back. Oh, man, that's so sick. It's I love yours, that. dude. All yours, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be. Uh, make sure you hit me up, and I'll make sure I get this out to you. Sounds good. Appreciate You're good, it. man. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thanks, man. Have a good one. How we get out of here? Let's see. Uh, next up, we're ready to go right into the next guest, Chris uh, at Lazy Booking, I'm who's in the it. chat. Also, he is uh, putting in the work today. Nice man, appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Everybody who's joining, I really appreciate everybody coming. This is something that we just kind of thought of one day. Here it is. You know who knew? <laughs> a, a thought into a reality. And please right. subscribe to the WTC channel that you hey, are watching this on. And don't forget to subscribe also to uh, you know wrestling with cards and both of our stuff. Worlds collide. Chris, Chris, what's up, cowbell? Hey, there we go. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Can you hear me? All right. Yeah, we're good. 
Good. Well, thank you guys for having me on. Um, this is such a cool thing that you guys are doing. And uh, it gave me good reason to kind of hop back in. Um, I, I took a couple years break from the hobby. And so I'm, I'm pretty happy to, to sort of dip my toe back in. And, and this was just a great little, nice, you know, welcome back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, um, I, I got super burnt out a couple of years ago. There, there's just a lot of stuff going on just dealing with, you know, I was dealing with mostly hobby boxes and fighting with distributors, trying to get uh, everything. You know, we. You, I think you guys just posted all the, you know, the set delays and things like that. I just, you know, it was. Oh, I can't. Enough I, enough. I, I, I so wish I want to talk about that, but I, I cannot reveal what's happening with that stuff. <laughs> Not just yet. another day, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, well, I um, most of my stuff is going to be pretty vanilla um, compared to a lot of the cool stuff that everybody else has been showing off but um people like vanilla it's a good flavor yeah <laughs> it, it is i just got um I, I and i tried to make it simple for everybody um everything uh that i have is it's up on my website lazybooking.com um you can get in touch with me uh, my socials are instagram uh twitter youtube it's all my handle is lazy on on all those so um Everything uh, I should be uh, able to be shipped every, everywhere, U.S., Canada, and U.K. Um, I can get some more countries up there. I, I've tried to make it simple, but I, if something breaks, please just let me know. There's a contact page on there. Reach out to me on, on Twitter or something, and I'll be happy to see it. But, um, yeah, I, I've just basically been trying to sort and clear inventory of, and honestly, most of it's the stuff I collected through all the the box breaks and, and things that I was doing um, a few years back. So let's the majority. See um, let's see what you got. I'm, I'm waiting. Yeah, I, I mean, the got. majority of stuff is 2015, 2016, 2017 autos. Um, everything's up on the website, but I mean, there's there's just mixes of of all the sets. So um, I mean, there's stuff from Undisputed. I don't know who all. I mean, Bray Wyatt when he still had a nice. Nice. Sig on there. Yeah, I like that um, signature. It's a nice signature. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to, I mean, there's a, got Jerry the King Lawler out there. I mean, really a, a good mix signature, of, man. of everybody um, from all of those years. So uh, I'll just try to, to pick a few, but, you know, I, I tried to, to price everything um, below eBay comp. So there's a, um, there's a good stack of stuff that's, you know, five bucks. Uh, five, ten, fifteen dollars. Um, I'm trying to see what else. There's a couple uh, from the first uh, back when it was still, I guess, the Divas Revolution. A couple autos, Carmela, Oscar. Um, one of the things that I kind of went crazy with back then was those uh, the little Tops.com exclusive mini boxes uh, from I think 2016. That were they were, I think they were the five card packs. Everyone had an auto and, and a parallel and a, and a few others. So I've got dozens of those up. Um, pretty much close to everybody in that set. I think it's a 24 card um, checklist on the autos. Um, but I've got, you know, there's several of Andrade, uh, Angelo Dawkins, Austin Aries, some of those names that aren't really around anymore but but still some uh some cool stuff so what are you, what are you asking price... for on some of these what's that what are you asking for on some of these? A lo honestly a, a lot of the the 2016 stuff most of them are priced at, at 10 bucks um 10 bucks a piece the base ones and even some of the the parallels i i think the only ones that might be a little bit higher probably um i'm trying to just go through quickly um i don't know that i have any baileys up there but uh, nakamura He's a little bit more, I think I've got for maybe 30, 35, but I, I've tried to keep everything really reasonable. Um, and again, I, I'm always open to offers. If, if nobody is, uh, you know, is, is buying it is marked on the website, um, there's a contact page, just shoot me, uh, shoot me an email or, you know, a tweet, tweet at me or something. And I'm, I'm more than happy to, uh, to work out a deal. So um, I've also tried to price everything um, the shipping is flat rate. So, uh, within the U S if it's, if you're just doing cards, it's five bucks to ship, um, no matter how many you buy. 
Um, I just tried to do the going rate. I know there's there's a ton of collectors up in Canada and, and over in the UK. So uh, a, a couple reached out and, you know, I just I basically just priced it at, at what I have to pay. So I was trying to go through and pull, see who else. Um, kind of a neat one. Uh, this is the first, apologize for the glare on there, but a, a triple autograph from then now forever, uh, the Vaude Villains and uh, <laughs> Enzo Amore. Uh, it's very so, random. It's like, a very random is, pairing. <laughs> that's what it, it tops. God love them, but you know some of the stuff they put together. And just, that's just so tops. It is <laughs> so. Um, oh, that might be a shirt idea for us. It is. That's, I mean, <laughs> it's, not, it's not really our catchphrase. I borrowed it from someone else. Yeah, I'm trying to see who else I've got. Um, I think I've got quite a bit of. Uh, I know I've got lots of Hitman uh, or several, uh, several um, Bret Hart autos. Um, here's a Becky Lynch from 2016, Undisputed. Can't go wrong with that. Can't go with Becky. Um, My so, wife's never watched wrestling ever, and she's all over that Becky stuff. Yeah. <laughs> she, is she watching? She should buy that card. <laughs> uh, don't, get, no, don't get me started, oh, man. <laughs> it's already bad enough. I have a habit. <laughs> yeah, there's several several Bret Hart autos from the, the first uh, legend set that they did. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So lots, uh, quite a few of those uh, legends. I think I got another I'm trying to think who else I got up there. So all this stuff, people can find all this for you from you on lazybooking.com. Lazybooking.com. You can purchase it right through the website. Um, mm -hmm. Takes, I think Google pay, debit cards, credit cards. So, uh, however you, I, I wasn't able to get PayPal up and running, but you can always shoot me a message if you want to work out something, um, that way. I do also have a handful of hobby boxes left over for oh, sale. So, see? um, I don't have any opened, but I, I've got behind me, there's a couple, I've got a couple cases of, um, uh, 2020 women's division. I think I've got four of those up for sale. If they all go quick, I'll probably put another four up. Um, those are for 50 bucks a pop. Um, I've got a couple boxes each of some 2017 uh, hobby boxes for $90 let's each. See, let's see those. Let's see them. I've got uh, two boxes nice. of then now forever. Um, I know those, I think those have the Triple H, Stephanie autos in there. Right, so uh 2017 wwe just the uh the flagship, flagship. that's yep. got uh i think that was undertaker's first um tops certified auto is in there and then i've got a couple boxes of uh, heritage, heritage. Yeah. so those are out there um i tried to restrict those just one per uh in case you know so more than if people are wanting to get their hands on some of that gotcha. older stuff that they can do it so um that's that's kind of what i've got um again feel free to make offers on anything if it's hanging out there and it's not sold uh let me know um i do have quite a bit of stuff uh, uh my wife wants to know how much for that becky lynch card yes, oh, yes. Off, the, off the top of my head I, I don't know what i've got that one price at. i'm not I, I shouldn't have said anything here. huh i know you should she's in the other room right now <laughs> uh she her all of her comps are pretty high i i listed it at 75 bucks but if you know there's i've got three different becky lynch autos on there um so i just one for 50 bucks a couple for 75 but feel free to make offers on those um i know because basically all the women's card or cards are, are pretty high so um uh, hey yeah. honey my birthday's coming up in december da, da, da. <laughs> i'm i'm I might, have to be to, I might be visiting to... your website sometime very soon, apparently. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Um, and, and I'm always looking to um, – I'm, I'm kind of looking to, to trade as well. So feel free, you know, shoot me uh, if you've got stuff you're looking to move. Or there you yourself. go, Tony. Okay. Um, a lot of the stuff that, um, that I'm – you know, I'm, I'm getting into uh, – out of some of the modern stuff and trying to get into more of the, um, you know, the older stuff. So I, sure. I love the old 85, 87, you know, the classic – stuff so any of the old you know stars like hogan i'm happy to look at um i really like 
you know, they don't have to be certified autos. That's there's a I get some of these. I get some of these. I guess oh yeah, trade. absolutely. Love that <laughs> stuff. So I'm I'm more than happy to uh, to look at trades, things like that. All right, I'll start and digging through uh, some of my '85 and '87 tops like that. And we'll see about news and trade maybe for a Becky card. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, thanks, you know, honey. That, site, that <laughs> site's gonna be up, and and hopefully I'll be able to just as I get time, I can get relics and. Uh, parallels serial numbered all that good stuff i've got yeah. tony i know you're opening up a shop i've got a i've just got tons and tons of um i thought you said you in a video one of your podcasts you were looking for base sets i've just got tons of you know from yeah the as long as they're cheap enough where i can turn around and sell them to the kids cheap that's gonna be good yeah honestly a, a lot of stuff I, I might if i can just box it up and maybe if you'd help me cover shipping you know honestly I'd yeah just be happy I, i'd be happy to do that so. no problem yeah man. Well, well, Chris, thank you guys. That's, thanks for coming that's on. That's pretty much it for me. Yep. Yeah. We've got several people in here asking again for you to plug the website and where Please. they can get a hold of you. Yeah. Uh, website is lazybooking.com. And uh, that's my Instagram. You can follow me at lazybooking, uh, Twitter at lazybooking. I've got, I've got a YouTube channel that I never use. I, I may have to resurrect that. Better get on it. The more wrestling it. card content we have, yeah. the better. So yeah, I, it's it's just really cool, um, Tony. I've used your site for years, and I I got a little bit worried a couple of years ago when I saw it kind of <laughs> yeah out well, of the you know uh, pandemic, the internet. So pandemic I was so happy it back, when you, you know? back. Yeah. <laughs> so I appreciate so, it, man. Thank you guys. Yep. Uh, so ra random thing for you, guys or girls? Which one do you want, guy, girl? Look, we get something for you. Autograph. You pick. Um, TNA, you WWE. What, let's let's do TNA. TNA. Yeah. I got, I'm down to, let's see, I got three selections for TNA. I'll let you pick, okay? There you go. They're all, these are okay. all TNA ones. I'll you take can, number, if you, you can have, this number. You can have a Kevin oh. Nash one. Oh, Kevin Nash. Don't even show Dale, me the others. Dale Kim? Kevin Nash. <laughs> or, hey, Killings. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Archery. I'm, I'm all about Kevin Nash. You got um, it, buddy. Yeah. Make sure you so hit much. me up with your, uh, your, your address and I'll get that shipped out to you. Okay, absolutely. All right, man. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank, thank you, man. you guys. Appreciate it. You got it. Uh, how do we do this now? We got. It. All right. Next up, we've got Ryan, certified wrestling fan. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Here we go, buddy. Let's get you in here. Uh, I got to figure out how we're gonna Sorry. do that one. That figure out how to get rid of that one. Remember. I, I'm gonna have to keep my mouth shut. Apparently, I shouldn't have said anything about Becky Lynch cards. Yeah, I mean, she collects her like crazy on uh, for um, uh, what do we gotta do here? Uh, put him back in the waiting room, he can do what he wants now. All right, we're just waiting on Ryan. Hi, am I all set to go? You are audio and video. What's going on, Welcome. Ryan? Hey, hello, Welcome. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> all right, um. Little bit nervous, but I hope it goes well. Um, hey, we all are. I'm just we're just uh making this up as we go along. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful, makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> all right, so uh, first off, I have some I have some 2011 WWE Champions cards, they're just random cards right here. About that. Um, I counted there are 33 cards in total, and there's if I can find it real quick, uh, there's one foil card, that foil card being Melina. It's Actually, nice. a pretty nice card. Um, for the whole set, I do fifteen dollars. Okay. That's damn it! I should have done the math before this. Is that shipped? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Why not? That's shipped. Um, just to make it better for people. Um, next up, I have some tops, top thumps. Is that what it is? Whatever this is, I don't ever remember these. <laughs> oh, top thumps. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, top yeah. Thumps. I have. Mm -hmm. I have six of these. I have John Morrison, Shawn Michaels, Edge, Punk. This is a nice Punk one. Uh, Triple H and Batista. Um, I'm asking one again? 20 for the... Let's see the Punk one again. This one? Yeah. I don't ever see that. I never see that. That's the first time I've ever seen that card. I That's forgot even had these, to be honest. I figured why Where's not. Where's Womack um, at? Is he watching? Yeah, where is he? He, needs... <laughs> he probably wants that one. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, it's fine, fine. Um, I'm doing the whole... I'm doing all six for 20. Because why the heck not? Um, <laughs> I, did, I didn't do it, Adrian. Uh, I, this, this was a gift. This, this was a gift, uh, so I didn't put that on there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Next up, I have 35 cards from WCW 91. It's just 
there's a ah, bunch the of... impel set so I, apparently yeah, you imp- got my last shipment that i sent out and i'm just freshly made <laughs> <laughs> i guess maybe um there's a bunch of doubles here it's not nearly close to a full set um i'm just asking 20 for them um, I wouldn't be able to tell you condition wise because I'm not good with condition. Yeah, uh, I, never, I, I, I never do condition myself. I'm such an I don't know well, anything about conditions, man. And if anybody's no got any further details, they can contact you directly. That's no yeah, big exactly, deal. exactly. Yeah, I know. Um, and I'll plug my contact info at the end. Sure. Uh, next up, I have um, I have eight cards of raw deal from I think Ooh, 2005. Okay. I have a I have okay. like some of these. They're just. Gotta see them ones. all. What do we got in there? Let me see some other ones in there. Right, any, so of them, have... any of them? Any of them shiny foils? No, they are not. Boom. None of them are shiny. Oh. Did this one? This. Any? Any all red ones? Discount? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, okay. Clumsy opponent. All right, then. Escape. Step aside. All right. Is this yeah, all elbow, red? Elbow, elbow to the face. Two damage. Zero for two. Um. Let's see. There's a nice shot of angle. That's cool. Um. Cool. Masking fifty. For all of these, basically just basically just I'm selling these all as a lot because individually, eh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot um, more work. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next up, I have 2009 Slam Attack. I have 111 of these. Ooh. Forgot I even had these. Um. Sounds like me. A uh, whole <laughs> shit ton of doubles. I think there's at least two punk ones in here. Um, there's 10 foils, which is interesting, including yeah. this nice punk foil. Oh, that's a good card. Nice, yeah. Uh, there's an edge foil, Cena foil, two boat foils. Is that a 2009 or 2010? Uh, 2009. Okay. I was trying to wonder it's, which one, what year was one. it? Had, um, isn't that, yeah, isn't Husky Harris in that one? I think this is a 2010. So. I think you're right, 2010. It's 2000. Yeah, that's probably, that sounds about right. If I did see him, I would have taken him out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, with all of these, with the foils included, I'm asking 40 for all okay. of them. Nice. Um, I think that punk card might be uh, close to being worth that alone. Yeah, yeah the, that punk the, card is the, kind uh, of interesting. I didn't look at eBay for any of these. I didn't look at eBay for any of these because I've been stuck doing um, nonstop college work. So oh. kind of haphazardly putting stuff together. It's okay. Move anything at all. It just clears up the space for you and puts a little money yeah. in your pocket, hopefully. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, next up, I'm just doing nothing but relics and autos at this point. Ooh, That's okay. what I specialize in, basically. Here we go. Um, these, so I have a bunch of relics. I have this relic. This is to number 399. Um, basically, all the relics I'm showing at the moment are $10 each, but but they're negotiable. Um, I have Ricochet. I have this Nia Jax one. This one, I believe, came out of one of the video games, but I don't exactly That's remember. Wow. Uh, I had uh, this an, Jim, an event worn out of a video game. That's kind of cool. I had this um, Jim Duggan one. Just got out of the hospital today, which is good. Good oh, to hear that. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm so freaking happy. <laughs> I was concerned, you know? Um, I have this Velveteen Dream out of 25. This unnumbered Rollins, this Devon, um, that one's at two ninety nine. dollars uh, this Michaels that's unnumbered, uh, this sealed Mark Henry unnumbered, this Shayna out of 50. Nice. Sorry for the glare. I have this Naomi out of 50, this unnumbered Corbin, and this uh, Bray. Well, oh, there we go, in the center. So yeah, just again, I'm asking ten dollars each for those, or or if you want to potentially get a very deal, just contact me or whatever. Um, next up, kind of haphazardly going through this. Uh, next up, I have a mini auto ramble of Luke Gallows. This is oh, from the, this is from the 2017, I think, Then Now Forever set. So basically, I have the ad uh, 25. Uh, nice. The glare is horrible on this. I uh, 25. They have yeah. the I uh, 10. And wow. they have the one of one. Nice. These, I'm, so was I this something, sell, were, were you actually collecting these and then you just decided to pivot or? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a combo of um, of pivoting my PC and also because I kind of need the funds. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. I just I just wasn't sure if you you know pulled it or if you actually did start the rainbow, but. Well, well. To be honest, I got the I got the one on one first, and I just thought, why the hell not? But right, yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah, kind of move yeah. on. <laughs> Basically, all they need is the add fifty in the in the base, and you're all set. I'm asking one hundred for all for all three. I think that's pretty. That's good. not bad. That's pretty yeah. pretty good price for all three, including the one of one. Yeah, yeah, yeah including the one of one. One of one alone, I think, is worth it. Probably. Uh, let's see. Next up, if I can find it. Yeah, Caleb, uh, I saw the post. His wife posted that he got out of the hospital today. It's so like that. So it hasn't disclosed what he went in for, but it was emergency surgery. Came out great and already went home. Good. I'm so, I'm so happy for him. I, gotta, I, I, ha I actually I have to reach out to him uh, sometime this week. I actually, because I, something for a booking. All right. So next up, I have a Matt Riddle um, first NXT auto. This is at 99. Cool. Nice. I'm asking 15 for this. I think that's fair. It's good that's price. Fair. Uh, yep. That's yeah, let's see. Eric Yana at 25. That's 10. Ali at 99. This is from uh, Road to WrestleMania 20, I believe. This is 5. Naomi from 2014. That's 10. Sami Zayn undefe undisputed, 10. Um, AEW Cesar Bononi is only on a his only, yeah, his only WWE auto that five. Miz auto ten. Oh, you're all over that one, Zan. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three Come on, man. Those walls aren't gonna paint themselves. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, three separate um auto routes of Curtis Axel. I'm asking five each. This is the add twenty five by ninety nine and add fifty versions. Just Still five cool little rainbow. Each. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, nice little rainbow. Um. Shawn Michaels out of five parallel. This is from 2018 Undisputed. That's cool. Nice, cool. I'm asking 45 for this. Um, R Truth at 10 auto. I'm asking 15. Walter Rookie auto, 15. I'm trying to go fast because I know I have five minutes left. <laughs> uh, Adam Cole at 25 auto. I'm asking 25 for it. Out of 25? Um, yeah. That's yeah, at 25 auto. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to tell, but the sides are silver. The um the glare isn't really hot. Gotcha. Uh, Dakota Kai, auto um auto relic at ninety nine. I'm asking how much am I asking? Thirty for that. Daniel Bryan at ninety nine auto. I'm asking fifteen. It's pretty good still. Um, Seth Rollins at twenty five auto. I'm asking fifteen for that. Mandy Rose Finest, 20. Hmm. Ember Moon at 10. I'm asking 30. Hard to tell, but it is gold in the background. Uh, what's next? Um, Bobby Lashley Finest. This is at nice. 99, is it? Yes, at 99. I'm asking 35 for that. Such a Johnny Gargano Blank Back. That's this interesting. Is, um, oh. What is that from? So, um, all right. Is that, so, is that direct from uh, Tops? Yes, this is direct from Tops. Um, I they don't really do it anymore, but but basically, if you went on eBay, you could you could bid on on blank backs of cards. Uh, I think they stopped doing it in twenty eighteen or something like that. This is his second card. This oh, what the heck is that on it? Oh, a little blemish. But anyway, just this is from twenty seventeen. I believe this is his second NXT um second card. I think it's interesting. Um. I'm asking five for that. And if you were to buy it, I'll get I'll give you the um the circuit that the certificate of authenticity because I still have it as well. I'll just dig that up. Yeah, Tops used to put uh, on their chrome one, so they put one of one uh for blank backs. And this is gonna kick my ass for this, but I had I had the Kurt Angle one, it was the only one I had years ago, <laughs> and I got rid of it a long time ago. Now I wish I had it back. <laughs> Can't look back. <laughs> oh shit. Oh uh, let's see, I had this gray white auto. Really nice. like this auto. I'm asking 60 for it. This one is numbered 150. This is from Undisputed okay. 2020. Is that a gold border on it? Yes, yes, it is. Um, almost looks like a transcendent, almost. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah, it does. Than that. Yeah, it is That's transcendent. Apparently, they're supposed to do a whole bunch, like a subset or something like that, for 2020 Undisputed, but. 
they were only able to do Bray. Hmm. I think, I don't believe there are any parallels to that. So it's just a 150. Gotcha. So there aren't any one ones Let's see. Um, I have the Speculant Auto Relic. This is out of 50. This is from 2018 Undisputed. And I have the auto version, like the regular auto version. Oh. I'm asking 100 each for them. A little bit high, but I think it's good. I think. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Um, Correct, uh, Kev. Top's Vault. Yeah, used to do that a lot. Tasha Banks Plate. This is from 2018 Undisputed. Doesn't have a 101 stamp on the back, but it we is know, yeah. an actual plate. Um, I'm asking 150 for this. Is that the uh, black uh, one? That is interesting that they didn't put the one of one on there. It is. I know, right? It is interesting. I pulled this myself, and I was like, oh, it's a plate, but they don't have the stamp on it. doesn't even say congrats or anything. It's just That's weird. weird. Nothing. Very weird. <laughs> um, and I have the one of one base Sami Zayn from 2020 Undisputed. Nice. Um, that is actually stamped on the front, which is... Mm -hmm. Good. Um, I'm asking 100 for that. Uh, Samoa Joe at 10 relic from. That's cool. Oh god, what the heck is this set? SummerSlam. Can't remember the set, but I think it's from 2019 mm. or something like that. I think it's from 2019 SummerSlam or something like that. I'm asking 60 for that. Alistair Black Auto. This is a subset auto from 2020 NXT. This mm -hmm. is the base auto, base being uh, 25, I'm asking 40. Yeah, can't get any more base than that. He just he signed it like a, his a base, AB. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's a nice card, though. It's a nice yeah. looking card. Uh, John Gargano, auto at 10. This is this is from one of, I think, it's, I think it's from the same set or something like that, but this was a uh, tribute set, like tribute auto set or whatever. Um, I'm asking 45 for this. And I have a Candice LeRae plate auto from 2020 Undisputed. I'm asking 200 for this. That one numbered at least? <laughs> yes, yes on that. On Good. That. <laughs> Good. Yeah, at least. Um, and one other thing. I even had this. I had this. Raw deal. This That's is... the Raw and SmackDown 10 set. That's a holiday set. Wow. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad you know a lot more about that because I couldn't find that. <laughs> I, I, can, I can tell you anything you want to know about Raw Deal. So, yeah, every year they put out a holiday set. So that's uh, Raw Smart. They made a lot of those compared to their other stuff. But Raw Deal stuff is like everything else. It's going I don't, up in price. Oh, I don't see very many of those, if any. Anymore. They put a collector tin for Raw and SmackDown. And mm -hmm. then the pack in the middle will have a uh, Eric Bischoff and a support card and then a uh, Stephanie McMahon support card. Interesting. Well, now I know. Um... <laughs> Well, without realize, well, without knowing anything about it, I'm asking 75 for it because I've never really seen them before. And I thought, oh, they're kind of interesting, you know? That's very cool. That's, that's how can, really... how can everybody get a hold of you and find out how uh, if they're interested oh. in stuff and how can they find you? Of course. Thank you. Thank you for that because I will have forgotten. Um, on Twitter, I'm at, I'm at full on shindig, S H I N D I G, full on shindig. On Instagram, I'm at Wingspan1998, W-I-N-G-S-P-A-N. And I'm on the Wrestling Trading Card Discord. You can see me under Star Club. What was that again? Uh, Star Club. S-T-A-R-C-O-U. Gotcha. gotcha. Oh, so if you guys saw any... Uh, yep, we, yeah, we need to get out of here. Um, Ryan, thanks okay. for coming on. If you guys saw anything that Ryan had for sale, make sure to check him out on all of those plugs. And before you go, we got a giveaway for you. Guys or girls? Guys or girls? Which one? Um, I'll go guy. Why the heck not? Why the heck not? Uh, you want to go... Mm, I don't know. I'm going to get you some choices here. I got uh, Johnny Nitro, a.k.a. John Morrison. 8 okay. by 10. I got... Uh, you can go Ron Killing if you want. I showed that a little bit ago. You can okay. go... Hey, everybody's favorite, Robbie E. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> I, I got I got Tajiri. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see what else I got here. I got Chavo Guerrero Jr. Okay. And I got uh, let's give you one more here. How about Hurricane? Um, I'll go with Johnny Nitro. You got it, Johnny Nitro. It is, man. Just make sure you uh, message me, uh, give me your address, and I'll be happy to set this out to you. Of course. 
Ryan, thank thanks you, for man. coming on. Thank you. Thank you Appreciate for having it. me. No problem, man. That's what we got. Uh, who's up next, man? Aaron. Aaron, get him in right away. Yeah, since he's uh, been on with us on the round table before, he's a All right. World's, co World's Collide veteran. That's awesome, man. Uh, who wants to take Johnny? Johnny what? I think he meant one of the Johnny Gargano cards. Oh, okay. Cards. So make sure uh, – was that uh, Vince? Yeah. Uh, make sure you contact him uh, directly on the – I can't remember what it is. His uh, handle Ryan's right, certified wrestling fan is his name. If you uh, if you missed any of this information, if you guys are watching this, make sure you can as soon as the stream is over, we'll have it in the replay on the WTC YouTube page, which you're watching right now, and you should go subscribe as well. But anything you miss, if you're just coming in, just joining us, or if you want to go back and maybe you saw some stuff but you're wanting to know some more about prices or whatever, just make sure to check out the archives. They'll be on my channel eventually, but as soon as this is over, this will be on the WTC channel. Is Aaron our, our, our last spot for the night? Uh, no, we've got one more after that. Okay. Just waiting for that guy, to, uh, whoever it is, to, to jump in because he hasn't uh, logged in yet. Just wait on Aaron. Yeah. There he is. Oh, I I saw him for a second, and he got he got camera shy. Oh, he, he, <laughs> you got got no video. You get no cowbell unless you have video, sir. Uh, can you hear me? <laughs> can hear you. Oh, that's weird. It's telling me uh, oh, oh. I failed to start the video. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Hang on one second. Let me see if I could use my regular camera. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait. Let's see what the the wife is saying. Oh, uh, anything here? No, nothing. Uh, it's popping oh, up, but it's fun. just blank. That is so bizarre. Yeah, oh, take one it. second. Yeah, yeah, take the lens off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing coming up, huh? No. That's no. disappointing. Yeah, he's got all <laughs> the one of one Blake black. <laughs> Let's <plate>. see here. <laughs> Let me uh, stop and restart it for one second. That's all right. We'll, we'll fill some time. Oh, yeah. You got anything you want to throw up? Uh, yeah, I don't. I have a giveaway I want to do. I just don't know how to do it. How, how would you think we should do a giveaway here? Um, I, got one just, of the, I got one of those sheets I want to do. Let's give it away in the chat. Um, okay. I don't know what you want. Let's see. How about you, Mr. Trivia Man? Why don't you pull some trivia out of your butt? Hmm. I'm thinking. Okay. This is be this would be relatively easy. Uh <sighs> yeah, this is gonna be okay, okay, okay. You have something? Yes. Okay. So the prize for this one's gonna be I'm gonna give away one uncut sheet of the new AEW. Okay. There he is. Uh, I got one uncut sheet of the new AEW. So whatever it is that Zan's going to do for this giveaway, it's on him. <laughs> okay. Name. This this could be like a. Uh, okay. Name the promotion that New Jack was in before ECW. For, first go. one that I'm monitoring the chat. The first one that I see wins. Oh. Uh, we'll get back to that guy. Can okay. I just wins, say it? <laughs> no. no, 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 no. That's uh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> we'll we'll get back to him. Uh, you know the winner. Uh, but it's, the floor is yours, sir. Excellent. Sorry about the uh, video issue there. <laughs> All right, Aaron, you're up. The floor is yours. Oh, hold on. Fantastic. He's official. Yeah. It's official. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Well, uh, yeah, I've got some items here. Uh, I'm going to start off with a little bit of the uh, cheap, mod cheaper modern items. Uh, I got a stack of 26 rookie and NXT firsts. Um, nothing, uh, you know, nothing amazing, but uh, $20 I'm asking shipped. Uh, there's 19 tops rookies and seven NXT firsts. And I uh, got them all penny sleeved here. Nice. We've got uh, Rhea Ripley, uh, Zelina Vega, Sonya Deville, a whole whole assortment of random people: Amber Moon, uh, Alexander Wolf, Joe Coffey, 
So uh, yeah, we got a few few people in there if uh, you're interested in that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And then uh, I have one that Zan's going to go nuts for right here. Right. Uh, uh, got a little combo pack for uh, $12 ship. Uh, got a Ms. Rookie card. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> a Ms. Uh, 2018 uh, Royal Rumble mat relic. Uh, I love it when the uh, people actually start playing into the jokes. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> me too. And that one's got a serial number there out of uh, 199. It's 136. Is it 12 bucks for the and, pair? Uh, yep, that's uh, 12 bucks shipped. Uh, I might just pick it up and send it to, to Zan. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, framed. Yeah. Got one, got uh, a pair here from the, the current NXT champion, uh, Tommaso Ciampa. I'm uh, asking 60 for the pair. We've got a uh, standard uh, NXT one there. But, nice. Uh, then here we have a, a 10 out of 10 with a uh, shirt relic there, an autograph. It's so strange how his autograph has changed over time. He doesn't really sign a whole uh, different – because this is his autograph from the current one, the current product. Oh, wow. Yeah. That Yeah, that is quite different. What is that, his last name there? Yep. Yeah, it's just Chompa. Yep. Yeah, here it almost looks like uh, – he did like CIA or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like but, towards the end of the autographs there. Like, I'm done with the thousands. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the, that's the Dusty Roads thing. Yeah, that's right. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, going back a little bit further, I got some uh, independent cards here from the, uh, I believe it started in 2006, the Chikara Pro Wrestling set. Yep. And uh, I got here uh, two copies of the uh, Super Smash Brothers, better known now as uh, Stu Grayson and uh, Evil Uno of the Dark Order. And uh, these here aren't, uh, I mean, they're in great condition, but the only thing that stinks is uh, there is some white chipping on the side of the, the card here. So it seems to be on like almost everyone I've seen, it's, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it's kind of to be expected with a lot of the indie cards. Yeah, but uh, for th those, I'm asking fifty-five dollars each on those if you're interested. Then uh, I have here two copies of Mr. Brody Lee. There. Oh, look at that! These are uh, these are in pretty decent condition overall. Uh, Thankfully, there's not, uh, you know, really any white showing around the edges or anything like that. Do you pick that. those up in lots, or do you pick up off of eBay, or were you lucky enough to pull that from a DVD? Uh, actually, uh, I was lucky enough, uh, you know, it, it, it's that whole thing, uh, it doesn't hurt, uh, you know, until you, unless you ask or whatever. Yeah. Jeez, I'm, I'm pulling a, a Bush Jr. moment here. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt uh, to ask. So uh, I actually sent an email to uh, Chikara Pro and uh, got in touch with Mike Quackenbush and uh, ended up uh, striking a deal a little while back and uh, ended up acquiring some sets. And, nice. Uh, That's cool. Incomplete sets. I, I don't have that damn colony card everyone's looking for. Yeah. But uh, on the, uh, the Brody Lees, uh, they recently did sell for uh, a little over 100. They sold for 140, but uh, also a couple have come out, so there are some on eBay now. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna undercut it a little bit and go for 85 on these guys here. Okay. Nice. Um, that the same goes for the Eddie Kingston. Uh, you can get that for about uh, 110, I think. But uh, I'll do 85 tonight. I have two of those, wow. and then. Uh, also, I have I got one. some of those laying around somewhere. I got to find them. <laughs> it's, cool. oh, it, it's a great set. So many amazing people. And then uh, also I have one of these. This is the uh, Sorrow Rookie Card. Wow. And uh, for that, I'm asking $55. And uh, if I know for a fact that, I have that one. Please give me a shout. And uh, also, yeah, um, uh, please contact me on Twitter. I'm at AEW card. Uh, I'm the AEW card guy. So, oh, uh, that guy. If you want to follow <laughs> me, uh, follow my AEW collecting and uh, all that. But uh, yeah, if you're interested, uh, give me a shout on there. If I get more than one message, I'll go down the line, you know, in order. But uh, yep, just follow me on there. And then uh, 
I'm gonna head into a little little bit of vintage. We're gonna we're gonna go back in time. Oh, please tell bit. me, please tell me you're gonna get that right behind you, that that diesel. Oh, you can see it. Damn it. Yes, I oh, can. That's right. <laughs> a little, uh, oh man. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get we'll we'll get to that. We'll All get right, to well, that. We'll, I we'll go way back. Though. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Wait, exactly. what happened? <laughs> uh but uh this is my only slab card of the night that I'm busting out. And uh, it is a 1990, uh, I'm sorry, not 1990, but a 1955 what? Park Hurst Frank Hurley card. And uh, it's not in the greatest condition. Very good to excellent, but it's a four. That's cool. See that there. And uh, thanks, for this, I hope so too. For this, I'm asking 35 shipped. And, oh, that's uh, awesome. It's still a really good condition. I mean, Parkhurst cards. Oh, yeah. You can't even I grade know, it for that. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I regret cards. selling my sets. Yeah. But now the face of it, it definitely looks pretty good. Uh, and plus, it's just a piece of history, too. You know, 100%. that's what attracted me to the set in, in the first place. Right. And, uh, I got a lot of raw cards, but, you know, not a lot, but, uh, you know, it's a little bit of an oddball. So I figured I'd get in somebody else's collection. And, uh, Is this, uh, did, did Matt just say he wanted it? Is that what you want, Matt? You want that uh, Parkhurst card? Then make sure to let us know. All right, let me. I'll put it on this side, and you 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 hit me up on Twitter, and we'll we'll make that work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, moving on. Uh, I have a few cards from the 1988 uh, NWA Wonderama set. One of my personal favorite vintage Love sets. It. And uh, one of the cool things I want to do is. Uh, they aren't perfect. Uh, some have a little like uh, ink running and things like that. But uh, for every oh, no. one of these cards that sell, when I get to them, uh, you'll each get uh, one of the header cards, the uh, the Ric Flair there. Yep. So um, we'll get into a few of those. What do we got here? What do we got? Uh, this one has a little bit of a printing smudge on the border here okay, but uh, this one is the road warriors nice. and uh, right behind them there is uh dusty robes and uh because of the little smudge there i'm just asking 15 and again that comes with the, such a uh, cool cards it's like someone took a uh, um uh, their personal camera and made it into a trading card yeah it very much looks like a photo album when you're flipping through that binder it's it's amazing i love it and uh then uh, the next one here, I have uh, Lex Luger rookie card. That I'm asking 20 shipped. And uh, then I have two Arn Anderson rookie cards. I'm asking 20 shipped on those. Is that each or for the pair? Uh, 20 each. Gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and then uh, finally... With that set, I have the uh, Lex Luger versus Sting. Nice. And also right behind there, you'll see uh, Mr. Ric Flair. Never heard of him. And uh, for that one, I'm asking 45 shipped. Nice. God, I got to find my Wonderama singles. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite one of my favorite vintage sets there. Aaron, are you, uh, someone wanted to know if you're on Instagram. Uh, I, I, not really. I, no. I used to play around with it. I used to show off some of my record collection. Uh, I know a couple people found it and liked it, but uh, yeah, I'm not never really active on it. But uh, you can definitely find me on Twitter for sure. Uh, uh, that's definitely the most uh, <laughs> the place I, I enjoy doing my uh, collecting talk mostly. But uh, <laughs> then we're gonna get into a card that, uh, especially if centered, it, it caused a little bit of a stir earlier in the year. Uh, good old '85 Hulk Hogan. Yep. Got one of those up there. That isn't the uh, number one card. That's the uh, number 16, of course, the uh, blue back there. And uh, along with that, I have some uh, 1991 Titan Sports stickers. I got uh, two Hulk Hogan's. Oh, nice. I got uh, Legion of Doom. These stickers are from what? What's the back look like? Uh, blank white. Blank, blank. Okay, all right. Yeah. So are they puffy stickers mm. or like regular sticker stickers? They are just flat stickers gotcha. on a uh, glossy white sheet, you know, back. Gotcha. And uh, Legion of Doom logo sticker. The Rockers. Oh, nice. 
and a Big Boss Man logo. And for that lot, together with the uh, Hulk Hogan, I'm looking for 65 for those. Okay. Curious, what does a Hogan, that number 16 card by itself, go for these days? Um, it's about fifty dollars. Okay. For a while there, they both were up around the hundred dollar mark when the the craze was kind of hitting there. Mm -hmm. I think it was what uh, nine got graded. And yeah. Sold for a decent amount. And, oh no, it might have been the first ten, uh, something like that. But uh, gotcha. but yeah, it's kind of it's kind of gone down by about half, I'd say. And uh, yeah, that does it for those vintage. And now. The uh, Big Daddy Cool Diesel <laughs> back here. Don't tell me. That's the promo from Action Pack. That is the promo ah. from the 1995 Action Pack. Is that uh, MM1? That is MM1, yeah. the mammoth card. Yeah. There's a MM2, of course, with the Taker. Undertaker. Yep. But try and find that. I mean, it's, it's yeah. ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Back of the card here, very similar to the. Uh, I love the those cards, card man. I, I, uh, I bought a bunch of raw deal stuff from someone one time, some like Revolution stuff when it came out. I bought a whole bunch of it, and he goes, "I don't. I have some wrestling cards. I'm throwing them in, no charge." It was ten copies of that Undertaker promo. Wow! Oh, that's <laughs> amazing. I still haven't come across it myself. It's it's a beautiful card. You know? Awesome. But, uh, for that, I'm asking uh, thirty ships, and uh, I have four of them. Whoa, so, uh, nice. If anybody uh, don't, you know, uh, if anybody needs them. Wait, I, wait, I, were, you cut oh. a de were you cut a deal to buy all four? Uh, yeah, uh, definitely. If somebody's looking to buy all four, uh, I would absolutely entertain that, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, definitely uh, let me know if you're into those. Uh, and, you know, if, if you have an Undertaker, you know, maybe I'll give you a two-for-one deal or something like that. I don't know. I'll <laughs> dig around in storage and let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be kind of cool if I, if I get a – I might be contacting you. If, if nobody else wants them, uh, let mm. some, everybody else in the, in, the, in the room, you know, kind of uh, pick and choose. But if nobody else wants them, I might want to be interested and in, get those signed. Oh, that's very cool. I know. I, I, that's my plan to do with the, uh, the two I'm keeping. One I definitely want to get. The full thing on it. I want him to do the full Vince McMahon, Big Daddy, Cool oh, Diesel. Yeah. I want a little Dash and Kevin Nash. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> say, but if I'm going to do it, I'm going to fill that thing up. It's going to look beautiful. <laughs> All right. How much more stuff you got? We're uh, running oh, short I'm on sorry. some time yeah, here. I probably have gone over here. Uh, yeah, pretty much the, uh, the last thing I have here is a uh, sealed complete set of the WWF Classic 1990 that you love so much. Oh, I love them. And uh, three packs. Oh, the, the, sealed boxes, the sealed boxes, though, honestly, like that's like they're so hard to find now. So oh, technically, yeah, yeah. if you want to look at it from harder. that perspective, it is a rare thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm asking for 150 on these, but uh, I, I could be a little flexible if uh, you know if you need a little help on that because uh, you know. It, with the packs, it's about that, but uh, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll throw in the packs, uh, you know, 140, something like that. But uh, yeah, give me a shout, let me know what you think. And uh, oh, actually, I do have one random, random ass thing here that I'm just throwing out because love uh, random ass stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I got these in a lot, and uh, I'm really not sure who would want you know, who's the specific collector for these, but uh. It's uh, Series 1 and Series 2 uh, sealed boxes of bench warmers cards. From 2002? The, uh, models and things like that. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, no, no, these are from the uh, 90s. 1990s, actually. yeah. 36 packs in each. And uh, one has refractive etch cards. Yeah. And one has uh, random hologram inserts. And you know what? $50 for the pair. Ooh. God, don't don't tickle me like that, man. Uh, bench warmer <laughs> stuff. I used to be one of the biggest sellers of bench warmer in the United States. I used to buy 30, 40 cases of that stuff when it came out. Sounds oh, like um, sounds like you need to make a trade just for nostalgia's sake and keep no, it. No, I don't need it. I don't need that. I'm tr I have so much bench warmer uh, uh, set sitting around that I just I need to get rid of. <laughs> All right, Aaron, let everybody know where they can find you if they <clears throat> saw anything they want today so they can try to make a deal with you. Absolutely. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at, uh, sorry, at A 
AEWcard.com. The <laughs> at and the A. They don't they don't go together very well, I sound, but uh, yep. I'm the AEW card guy. Come find me on Twitter and uh, give me a follow and give me, you know, send me a message. <laughs> send me a message. Long, guys. Thanks for joining us. Have a good one. Take care, Bob. Thanks, Aaron. Good night. Thank you.